and welcome to more All or Nothing. More teams, more contestants, more challenges and more chances. And more triumphs, hopefully. Oh, it's just much too much. It is much too much. Tara, tell them what they could be winning today. Ever wanted to look like a celeb and shine like a twinkle twinkle star? Well, yes, you can. The winning pair will spend the day with an all or nothing celebrity stylist who will create a whole new look for them. You're going to be able to shop till you drop and record every second on the instant cameras that we've thrown in just for fun. And if that wasn't enough, you also get the highly sought after all or nothing goodie bag, which everybody is trying to get their hands on. OK, there are five rounds coming up. As always, the winners of each round stay on, and it's the winner of round five that will go through to the final. Let's wiggle to it as we pick the first pairs. Teams, you know what to do. Get to the top of the pair picker, drop that ball into the maze, and let's see who's going to play first. Cool pop. Happy come, Ben there, but as quick as you can. Well done. You are into the first round. OK. If you'd like to take this ball, put it into the hole when I say, you're going to see who you play first. OK? Three, two, one, pick a pair. They'll be playing the boys from London, the blue team. Yeah! Greens versus blues. Everybody else, take your seats. We're off to play the first game, which is down the tubes. All right, boys in blue versus boys in green. Now remember, guys, if you don't win this game, you don't get to go through to the next round. That's how it works on All or Nothing. And it's not as easy as it looks. Oh, no, you've got to get the ball from that end of the tube to that end. Absolutely, but in the middle of that tube is a rather complicated three-dimensional maze, which, if you're not careful, will have a nasty habit of slowing you up. If you are careful and use your brain, you can tilt and turn the tube in whatever way you like. Just make sure that you get the ball from one end to the other end in the quickest time. OK, guys, it's the first head-to-head -head race. One of you come around with me, take up your positions. Absolutely. OK, are you ready? First team to win goes through. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> ben and Edward showing some good teamwork here. They are about a quarter of the way down the tube already. Yeah, I thought it was quite strange that Edward had to stretch up to the top there, but he hasn't let that cause him any problems whatsoever. Look at Josh and Douglas, they're almost in the middle. Struggling slightly there. This could give Edward and Ben the chance to catch up, and it looks like it is. And they're having a bit of bother with that particular section. Yeah, Josh and Douglas stuck in exactly the same place. Which team will be first past the halfway point? It's the green team! Well done, Ben and Edward. They seem to overcome the troubles they had at the start. Look! Only two sections left to go. Josh and Douglas still struggling with that middle section. That always catches people out. The green team have almost done it. That's it. I think they're going to win this. Short and sweet, Blue, sorry, but you're not short and you're not sweet. Oh, Blues, you were good, but the Greens were just that little bit better. A big round of applause for the Blues. <laughs> well done, boys. You certainly made light work of that one. Tara, anybody else down there fancy their chances? Well, the red team from Newcastle, Gail and Rachel, are not scared of facing the green team, but they're scared of spiders. Gail's got a story. Yes, we were in um, Burgess Hill in the hotel room. I found a spider lying on the floor and Rachel being terrified of spiders, she was really scared. We all ran out of the room screaming whilst Rachel was standing in the corner. This annoyed the man opposite us because he was trying to get sleep. it was late at night. And, we, and she was locked in the bedroom. He managed to come in and kill the spider though. Oh, I hate spiders. We're not going to ask you to catch any spiders on this um, show, but we're going to ask you to catch some balls. Hopefully you get picked to play against the green team. Yes, the next game is ball point, which involves catching balls, but first of all, you've got to drop some balls into the pear picker. So up you come. Three, two, one, go! It's a draw between 
the reds and the yellows. Yeah. Well, we all know what that means. It's the golden ball time. OK, let's change the lights to red and yellow. Edward, if you'd like to take this ball, this is the only one that counts. None of the others do at all. Hold it over the hole. Three, two, one, pick up. <laughs> OK, everybody else, back to your seats, yellows and greens. We're going to go and play ballpoint. <laughs> Congratulations, yellows. You have made it into the next round. Now, is there uh, anything that you want to say, Tony, to the greens? You are beginning. Goodbye. <laughs> My word, a bit of Anne Robinson there. I think that's the wrong show, Jamie. It is indeed. OK, over here in front of you, you'll see three machines. They're each firing different coloured balls. Now, guys, what you've got to do is this. Greens, you're going to have to catch the orange balls. And yellows, you're going to have to catch the yellow balls. Once you've caught them, put them into those tubes. When you fill the tubes up to the marks, that means you've got 12 balls in. And you're going to catch a free ride into the next round. OK, guys, take up your positions. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> There's Edward with the first ball. Tony taking a, a bit of a strange tactic at the start there, running right across to cover the greens and then getting it totally wrong and having to run back and Stuart's got one for the yellows. Green slightly in the lead, there's Edward with ball number four. Stuart and Tony are letting them slip through their fingers, which is a good job for the greens because it's allowed them to get five. Ben should have a little bit of a height advantage here, but that's not going to stop Tony and Stuart. Look, they've got one each. Yeah, the yellows seem to be doing very well there now on four, but the greens are well ahead of them. Bit of a headbutt there from Tony. Not the idea behind this one. You've got to use your hands, not your head. Good stuff, Ben. Only two balls left to get, but the yellow's still trailing behind. There's Edward with the final two. Oh, well done, Greens. You are through to the next round. Yellows, you may have made a good impression, but in this game, the Greens made you look like the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, very funny, Jamie. OK, Yellows, you were caught out nicely in that one. You did get eight balls in, though, and I think that is fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I think the Greens are going for gold. Personally, Tara, I think these lads are unstoppable. Well, I found two sisters that might be able to stop them. They're Emma and Tioni from Ely. Now, the girls say that sometimes they fight. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, but I bet you get on, really. Yeah, sometimes. You do. Well, you need good communication for the next game, so I bet if you got picked, you'd be really good at that. Well, Tara, let's see who's going to fight their way into the next round as, once again, we play the pair picker. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> It's the yellows and green once again. Everybody else, back to your seats. Let's see who's going to have their heads in the clouds as we go and play tower. <laughs> now, in this game, the teams have to build the tallest tower in 90 seconds. When the time's up, the highest one will win. But it's all or nothing, so we've made something a bit strange. We've made the bricks all misshaped. That means, teams, this is a game of skill, tactics and judgment. Also, teams can see what one another are doing because I'm going to take the yellows over here beyond this screen and whenever we say three, two, one, build those towers! <laughs> Tony and Stuart taking a very casual approach to building this tower. Lots of discussion. Only the first two blocks down. Ben and Edward are making great progress. The tower looks high and steady. Yeah, five blocks up already, looking pretty sturdy. Remember, they must let go of that tower at the end and hope that it does not fall over. Working at a snail's pace. What is happening with Stuart and Tony? They are still on the foundations. Hasn't anybody told them it's a race? Edward and Ben definitely getting the measure of this. Look, it's almost a tour's Edward. All they've got to do is manage to keep it steady. I don't think there's going to be any problem there, look. Solid as a rock. There's a few heated words going on between Stuart and Tony, and the tower is looking slightly wonky. That certainly is not a steady tower. 
A nice tactic going off in the greens. Look, they think their tower is tall enough, so they're just going to sit back, relax, and let the time work its way through until the end. That's the 10 second countdown. And it looks like Stuart and Tony are having all kinds of problems. Look at the state of that tower. Woo, that's it, Bronzo. Oh, my word, boys. Now, I suppose you're going to want to know how you've done, aren't you? <laughs> well, let's have a wee look around here. Have a look. Sorry, lads, that means yellows, you are glutted for punishment. You're out. Greens, you're through. Oh, dear, I feel like I've got deja vu, yellows. Your tower's a bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. However, it was classical architecture. Big cheer for the yellows. <laughs> Well done, Greens. You are through to the next round. I think the gold medal is firmly in your sights. OK, let's pick the next pair. Three, two, one, go! Again, oh my word, everybody else, back to your seats. Let's leap into the next round as we play Bungie. OK, it's the yellow v the green once again. Yellows, how many games have you played against the greens? Two. Two. And um, how many have you won? Uh, none. So that'll be two you've lost? Yes. Do you think it'll be third time lucky? Yes, because we're going to chew them up and spit them out. Chewing them up and spitting them out. That's the yellows and the greens. Well, that's hard talk from the yellows. Personally, I don't think they know when to quit. Greens, how do you think you're going to do in this one? We're going to can them again. You're going to can them again. Good stuff. <laughs> OK, I think we've got a war in our hands here. The object of this game is to get these balls into that net. Only thing is that the entrance to the net is uh, up there. What you've got to do is catch the ball thrown to you by your partner and then put it in the net just like that. Ooh, it's easy for some people, isn't it? Now, it's the team to get five balls in the net in the quickest time wins. And as ever, challengers go first, which means that we're asking our yellows to stay with me. Greens, go away. Where you go, the isolation booth. Lock yourself up nicely, put your fingers in your ears, close the door and be quiet. What do you think? Goal, attack me, netball team? Yes, yeah, sure, I'll give the girls a ring, see if you can join in. As long as it's a hard girls' netball team, you know. Oh, well hard, well hard. OK, lads, you ready? Three, two, one, go! Good throw from Stuart, nice catch. And the first one is successfully, after six seconds, down that tube. <laughs> oh, and that slipped through his fingers. But there's number two. Three left to go, 20 seconds on the clock. Good catch there, Tony. And there's the third ball. And Tony's caught a fourth ball. Will he get it in? He has done. And there's the winner. That's it, five balls, yellows, well done. That's the greens. Get yourselves out of the isolation booth. Now. Well done, Greens. Now, I can tell you that the yellows have done very, very well indeed. Do you still think you're going to can them? Of course. Well, we'll see. Off you go and get ready. Well done. Yellows, <gasps> are you actually going to make it into the next round? We will see. OK, in three, two, one, go! <laughs> for the green team. That's a good job. The first two have gone in because 32 seconds is a very tall order if they're going to beat that. Ten seconds down, here comes shot number three and it's in. It's not going to be a problem for Ben and Edward. Fourth ball. They said they were going to can them. Can they? Yes, they can. Ooh, that's his job. You have won. You are through to the next round. Yellows, tough luck again. You're out of here. I'm thinking, chew them up and spit them out. Where did I hear those words? Me. You said them, didn't you, about the greens? Yes, I did. And, and did you chew them up and spit them out? Nearly. No, you nearly did, actually. Your time was very, very good. And I think if you get chosen for the next round, which is quite likely, because this is a game of chance, you'd probably win. What do you think? Yes, because we are simply the best. A big cheer for the yellow team. They are simply the best! Yeah!